Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Bhavita and in this video we will talk about cherry red spot. Before starting this video, I would like to remind you that in case you wish to see my videos in Hindi, then you can find the link to my Hindi channel in the description box below. So let's start our discussion on cherry red spot. Cherry red spot refers to the typical appearance of macula in certain conditions where the reddish brown color of fovea stands out in contrast to the pale or opaque retina surrounding it. Due to its red color like that of a cherry, this appearance is known as cherry red spot. This opaqueness of retina can develop due to various reasons and that is what we will learn in this video. But let us first revise the basic anatomy of retina. This is the outer coat of the eye or the sclera. Inside the sclera lies the choroid and inside the choroid lies the retina. On fundus examination, this is what a normal healthy retina looks like. This is the right eye of the patient. This is the optic disc on the nasal side. The central part of the retina is known as macula and the centermost part of the macula is known as the fovea. If we see the same area of the retina on cross section, then this is what it looks like. And you can also appreciate the various layers of retina in this cross section. This is the inner side of retina which is in contact with the vitreous. This dark area at the top of the image is the vitreous. And this is the outer side of the retina which is in contact with the choroid. And this depression here corresponds to the fovea and surrounding it is the macula. So with this understanding let us proceed further. The first most important cause of cherry red spot is central retinal artery occlusion or CRAO. Retinal layers can be divided into two parts, inner retina and outer retina. Blood supply of the inner retina comes from the central retinal artery while the outer retina is supplied by the posterior ciliary arteries, the long and the short posterior ciliary arteries through the choroid. If you see this cross section of retina again, then this is the inner retina which like I said is supplied by the central retinal artery and this is the outer retina which is supplied by the posterior ciliary circulation. And if you observe carefully, you will notice that at the fovea, these inner retinal layers are absent. Only the outer retinal layers are seen at the fovea. So what happens in central retinal artery occlusion? The central retinal artery gets blocked by an embolus and thus there occurs ischemia of the inner retina. Thus, the inner retina turns pale and edematous. While there is no edema at the fovea, since the inner retinal layers are absent here. Therefore, in case of CRAO, on clinical examination, the vascular choroid and RPE shine through the fovea. The fovea appears reddish brown in color and this contrasting appearance of the fovea with the surrounding opaque retina gives it the appearance of a cherry red spot. So the first cause of cherry red spot is central retinal artery occlusion. Cherry red spot is also seen in various lipid storage disorders. These lipid storage disorders are collectively known as sphingolipidosis. They are characterized by the deficiency of lysosomal enzymes that are required for the metabolism of sphingolipids basically ganglocytes, cerebrocytes and sphingomyelins. These sphingolipidosis include GM1 gangliosidosis, GM2 gangliosidosis, sialidosis, Neiman-Pick disease, Farber's disease, mucolipidosis type 3, metachromatic leukodystrophy and galactosialidosis. Just like CRAO, in these conditions also, the retina gets a pale color except at the fovea, which appears reddish brown. But the pathophysiology of these conditions is different from that of CRAO. If you see the cross section of retina once again, this somewhat hyporeflective layer is the ganglion cell layer which is part of the inner retina. As you can see that it is quite thick at the macula and then it thins out as we move away from the macula. Again, an important thing to note here is that at the fovea, this ganglion cell layer is completely absent because as we learned earlier, the inner retinal layers are absent at the fovea. In lipid storage disorders, 
बिकॉज द लिपिड्स स्विंगोलिपिड्स ऑलिगोसेकराइड्स एक्सेट्रा आर अनेबल टू गेट मेटाबोलाइज दे स्टार्ट एक्यूमुलेटिंग इन दीज गैंगलियन सेल्स ड्यू टू द इंटेंसिव डिपोजिशन ऑफ दीज मटीरियल्स इन द गैंगलियन सेल लेयर एट द मैक्यूला वेर दिस लेयर इज सेवरल लेयर्स थिक इट गिवस द मैक्यूला अ पेल अपियरेंस वाइल देर इज नो सच डिपोजिशन ऑफ दीज मटीरियल्स एट द फोविया देर फोर द फोविया रिटेन्स इट्स रेडिश ब्राउन ह्यू थैंक्स टू द अंडरलाइंग क्रोइड एंड आर पी ई एंड दिस गिवस अ कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग अपियरेंस टू द मैक्यूला गिविंग राइस टू अ चेरी रेड स्पॉट इन केस यू आर वंडरिंग वाई आई एम यूजिंग द टर्म रेडिश ब्राउन फॉर द कलर ऑफ फोविया एंड नॉट रेड दैट इज बिकॉज द कलर ऑफ द फोविया लार्जली डिपेंड्स ऑन द रेस ऑफ अ पर्सन ओनली इन कोकेशियंस डज द फोविया अपियर रेड इन कलर वाइल इन मोस्ट ऑफ द अदर रेसेज इट अपियर्स ब्राउन एंड इन फैक्ट इन सम एफ्रीकन रेसेज इट मे इवन अपियर ब्लैकिश इन कलर दिस मीन्स दैट इन मेनी पेशेंट्स द चेरी रेड स्पॉट मे नॉट अपियर टिपिकली रेड इन कलर द वेरियस लिपिड स्टोरेज डिजॉर्डर्स वेयर चेरी रेड स्पॉट कैन बी सीन आर जी एम वन गैंग्लियोसाइडोसिस टाइप वन ऑल्सो नोन एज लैंडिंग डिजीज इट इज कॉज बाय द डेफिशियंसी ऑफ बीटा गैलेक्टोसिडेज एंजाइम लीडिंग टू द एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ फिंगो लिपिड्स इन द नर्वस सिस्टम इंक्लूडिंग द रेटिनल गैंग्लियन सेल्स जी एम टू गैंग्लियोसाइडोसिस टाइप वन ऑल्सो नोन एज टे सैक्स डिजीज इट अकर्स ड्यू टू द डेफिशियंसी ऑफ हेक्सॉस अमीनडेज ए एनजाइम जी एम टू गैंग्लोसाइडोसिस टाइप टू ऑल्सो नोन एज सैंडॉफ्स डिजीज इट इज अगेन कॉज बाय द डेफिशियंसी ऑफ हेक्सॉस अमीनडेज टाइप ए बट अ डिफरेंट सब टाइप ऑफ द एनजाइम इज इन्वॉल्व इन दिस केस नीमन पिक डिजीज इट इज कॉज बाय द डेफिशियंसी ऑफ एसिड स्फिंगो मैलिनेज एनजाइम विच लीड्स टू द एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ स्फिंगो मैलिन इन द टिश्यूज also there is sialidosis or mucolipidosis type 1 in which there is a deficiency of neuraminidase 1 or sialidase enzyme two types of sialidosis have been described sialidosis type 1 and sialidosis type 2 sialidosis type 1 is also known as cherry red spot myoclonus syndrome other storage disorders in which cherry red spot is seen are farber lipogranulomatosis caused by the deficiency of the enzyme ceramidase mucolipidosis type 3 metachromatic leukodystrophy and galactosialidosis another important cause of cherry red spot is commotio retinae which is also known as berlin's edema it is seen in cases of blunt trauma although it needs to be pointed out that the term berlin's edema is a misnomer there is no edema in berlin's edema in cases of blunt trauma there occurs retinal whitening but the fovea continues to appear red giving it the appearance of a cherry red spot lastly certain drug toxicities can also cause cherry red spot these drugs include quinine carbon monoxide dapsone and methanol and with that we come to the end of this video please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues if you found it useful and do subscribe to my channel to support free education thank you very much